Our project is called the Sport Baller. It is a machine that's able to launch out ping pong balls automatically for multi-sport use. The main goal was to be able to create a device that could help you practice your favorite sport without having somebody else to help you. This is an example of us fielding ground balls to practice baseball. Our machine has two spinning wheels on opposite sides that shoot out the ball when it is placed between them. The way we got it to work without the help of another person was that we added a tube filled with ping pong balls and at the bottom of that tube, there is a motor that opens and closes the hole in order to only drop one ping pong ball at a time. DC Motors had a major involvement in our project, so we had to fully understand how they work. DC motors take electrical energy from a battery of some sort and turn it into mechanical rotation. So when a battery's electrical current passes through the motor's magnetic field, it creates a type of torque that turns the motor. Since there is a magnetic force on the inside of a motor, the motor would keep getting stuck. So instead of spinning, it would just twitch. So to fix that, there's something inside of a DC motor called a commutator. The commutator works by resetting the motors north and south in order to help it continue spinning properly. What did this teach us? This has taught us a lot of things such as energy transfer between battery and motors, which is called electrical energy, and the energy transfer between the, from the motor to the wheel, which is called kinetic energy. We also learned more about sawing and getting the right measurements, and also how to problem solve and work around the problems that came our way, because working with Arduino can be tough, and we had to problem solve to make our project work. What did we have to learn in order to make our project? We needed to learn how to power motors using different types of batteries and having to connect them using wires and solder. We also had to work with wood and make precise measure measurements in order to have a successful project. Most importantly, we had to solve problems. For example, when the wheels weren't spinning because the wiring was incorrect, we had to fix it by figuring out where each wire goes. What job did this lead to? This leads to an engineering career because we had to work with wood, which is a structural engineer. We also had to work with wires and Arduinos. This could also lead to a mechanical engineering career. If we would create the same project again, the number one thing I would change would be its size. First of all, I would use larger motors so it would be able to launch bigger balls such as tennis balls. Also, we would add a taller stand making it more effective and easier to use. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening.